I'm Daryl Baker and today I'm in Carnaby Street to visit the Irregular Choice Shoe Shop and speak to the designer Dan Sullivan, the guy behind the brand, to get the lowdown on some more fabulous fashion career advice as part of our series. I am sitting here with Dan Sullivan in your fabulous shop on Carnaby Street. Is it fair to say that this isn't necessarily what you wanted to do or what you thought you'd be doing career-wise? Yeah, um, being brought up in the industry and being surrounded by it, um, you, I had a slight rebellion against it. As, as I grew older, um, I started realising that I had a, you know, um, being a bit big-headed, had a talent for it. You know, it's something that, because I was brought up around the industry, um, got into my blood quite early on. Your parents owned uh, quite an, a famous store in yeah. London in the 70s. Yeah, my dad started off in the early 70s with, um, he launched a brand called Pods, and then he went on to do a brand called Suki, um, and he had big catwalks down the Lyceum and Covent Garden. Ended up in Japan, um, looking at the fashions there in the early 80s, and got very, very inspired by what was going on in Japan. Started bringing back um, those sort of brands to England and started a brand called Transport, um, taking very Japanese, creative, colourful um, influences from Japan. See, although you didn't study, you must know some really great courses. Which ones would you advise to look into, to get onto? Yeah, there's two two main uh, footwear courses in the UK. One is um, Cordwainers, it's part of London College of Fashion now. Um, and the second one is De Montford in, in Leicester, um, which is also very good college and both of them have had some amazing designers come from them um, and they both set really good courses. The footwear industry left the UK um, about a decade or so ago and there's certain people that are trying to bring it back into England and they're getting government grants to open up factories. I would suggest anybody that could get involved in that. Um, I'm sure they'll be desperately looking for internships, they'll be desperately looking for people to train. First thing is finding what you're passionate about because no industry these days with the amount of people that are being churned out with degrees and so forth is going to be easy. So first of all you've got to have that deep set passion that you're going to rise above um, all the knockbacks you're going to get because you are going to get knockbacks. Um, um, but then it's surrounding yourself by that industry and making sure that you're working in that industry and if you want to be a shoe designer mm -hmm. don't go and work in a bar go and work in a shoe shop you know um, to get the money to go to college don't you know just and if you can get internship and um, then get that internship and be you know in the industry as much as possible and you take on interns at a regular choice yeah we take on interns every year most of them are footwear but we also take on people from the business side I think it's a great way of finding young people so you must get quite a lot of CVs yeah, we do. What stands out on a CV for you? What would make you pick a candidate to, to come and be an intern here? It's normally their passion. It's key words that jump out at you, um, and and you can you can read it in the CV. And I always believe that people should put their hearts into the CV. Somewhere like a regular choice wants to see something fun, wants to see something unique, see something creative. They don't want to see somebody just coming yeah. along with, you know worked here, worked here, worked here, you know, it's boring, you know, you want to see something yeah. about the individual. You really need to there. see the passion come Absolutely, through. Absolutely, yeah. I know other uh, retail stores like Office have a lineup of people that work in the stores, end up in the head office, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so yeah, it's a great way of getting into the industry, just getting onto the shop floor and just getting yourself before into that company or into the industry. It's been amazing talking to Dan. If you'd like to know any more information about their internships, log on to irregularchoice.com or catch me on our Twitter and Facebook. Leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I'll see you soon, users.